If you want to keep track of your battery's life, the battery, our voltage history, and other uh, charging uh, attributes about your battery, one way you could do that is with the Ansel BM200. This thing is pretty um, nifty here. It allows you to um, record historical data, go back and look at that data, and maybe see what's going on. And it works with um, lead acid batteries and uh, uh, lithium batteries as well. So let's go ahead and open up this package. It's very easy to install. You just install it on your battery here and just take everything out of the package. Just a simple device to set the box over to the side. And um, what else do we have here? So here's the main unit and you connect this here to your battery here and then you just give you a little double sided uh, piece of adhesive here to stick it down on your battery to hold it still and a little manual. So we're going to first of all go ahead and install this thing and then we're going to download the app and hop in and um, take a look at the features what we have here. All right, so when you finish the setup, you should have something that looks about like this, where you took the um, the uh, red um, side and just connected that to your battery like so. And on the negative side, you should also have your that lead connected under the battery, secured to the battery terminal somehow, just like that. And you should also probably see that this right here is going to blink blue. Let's see if I can hold my hand behind it. You see how that blink blue? That's letting you know that it's in the communication mode. And I dropped my little um, adhesive here. Let me grab that really quick. So you can take your little piece of double-sided adhesive here. So I'll just connect that right to the back. Although my battery cover is not super clean, um, it should be clean enough for my job. So I can just secure it right here, like so. And that's it, that is the final product. That's exactly what that should look like, just connected to your battery. It's secured right here and connected to both battery terminals here. Let's go ahead, download the app, get in the vehicle and check this thing out. All right, so the first thing you see here is that we're just sitting in the car, the car is not turned on, but you see all of this data right here. It tells you the state of our charge of your battery, gives you the temperature outside, um, and it also gives you the actual current voltage of your battery. Down at the bottom, it's kind of just checking that voltage and it's just pinging every so often and it's, uh, and it's uh, um, recording that per the time. Let's see what happens if we blow this up here. So you can look at it on an, an, on an extended screen if you want to see that. Let's just go back. Um, now, what we want to do here now is you can do other tests while you're in here as well. So let's go ahead and um, do a cranking test. Let's see how you do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. There's no available data. Okay. So let's see what happened when we started up here. Okay. All right, that's pretty awesome. Just gave us a nice little, nice little uh, starting voltage at 10.48 volts. This is the standard range. And there you have that. So that's always nice to be able to have um, that sort of uh, data when you uh, need it. All right, so that was pretty simple. And it's uh, 2.4 milliseconds, so that was good. Because again, you want your starter to start um, to, to get the engine to a revolution fast enough in a short period of time so it won't wear your start out. So that seems to be good numbers from what I can tell. All right, let's turn this off for one second. Battery is okay because it said it was in a charging state. We'll go back to that in a second. So let me just crank the truck back up. It says battery okay. Okay, 12.26 volts. That's pretty good. 
And what else do we have here? Now it says it's in a charging state. Okay. All right. Okay, let's cut that off for one second. Now, we're gonna take a look at this uh, charging test here. Just seeing what happens here. I guess you have to hide a truck running to do the oh, stars testing here. And I thought normally it, it kind of gives you some prompts when you're doing all uh, certain things to tell you what is happening here. Like in terms, I've seen other things they do charging tests, they tell you to do this, do that, and um, like cut on your lights, cut off your lights, and all this thing. So let's hit start testing here. Car isn't started, can't start testing. Okay. Start it back up. Okay, we're gonna hit start testing. First idle speed test, keep the vehicle idling. Turn on all electrical equipment, such as the headlights, air condition, um, glass heating, the car interior lights. So I guess if I just crack the door open here, that'll cut on the light. And um, I guess I won't cut on everything, cause I saying like cut, I got on the air conditioner and got on several things, the radio. So let's just hit test. That should be enough just to get an idea here. Of course, everything here should be good, but we'll just see. Okay, second test. Turn off all electrical equipment such as headlights. Let's turn off the AC. Turn off the lights. Okay, pretty much everything here. Let me, I think my radio, I'm going to just, I guess if I do that, should technically be off. Okay, please keep the car at about... 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs, let's do that. Okay, click test. All right, now it says the dial ripple test. Keep the vehicle idle and turn off all electrical equipment and click test and, and then uh, click test until the end of test. Click test. Okay. Charge, charging voltage detection is normal. Idle charging voltage is good. High speed charging idle is good. The diode ripple test is very low. And I guess that should be good because the diodes, you probably, um, again, a diode I believe is a electrical component that, de that does not uh, allow um, uh, voltage. It only allows voltage to flow in one direction. So, um, I guess if you don't have that, a lot of ripple in that, again, I'm not an electrical engineer. I'm just totally guessing here, by the way. So if anybody else knows exactly what that means, let me know down in the comments, but this looks really good to me. I'm super surprised with it. So what I can say about this is that so far the software works at least on, for me and my unit is working just fine. I haven't had a single hiccup yet, as you can see. It's recording the data. And um, so now, let's see, can we go back and look at historical data? That's what I'm gonna do next. Let's look at uh, data asset battery. We can add another device if we need to. Let's go to settings, power alarm, abnormal cranking, uh, GPS will be on, export data. So it looks like you can actually export the data. Okay, but technically you can export it as a Excel file. And that way, if you're having any problems, you can be able to detect that. So that's pretty cool. So I'm not really gonna show that here because that's just should be self explanatory. You can just download this file. And if you do not have um, Microsoft um, Excel, you can just go open a free Google account and use this sheet. I mean, use this Excel sheet inside of Google Sheets and analyze your data and make graphs. But um, with that said, um, uh, in fact, um, we may go ahead and take a look at that data. I'm not sure yet. But with that said, um, that's it. That's pretty good for this video. Um, the thing works just as advertised straightforward installation software works great 
and you can export your data, which is very important. So in case if you really are trying to diagnose a problem, you can pull that data off the device and be able to analyze it to help you with your analysis. You guys take care. If you got any questions, concerns, or comments, put them down below, and I, you definitely know I'll respond to you guys. So take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, guys, I couldn't let you go without showing you this cool feature about how you can extract your data and how you can actually use it. So as you can see right here up top here, this is the name of the file that we um, had on our um, unit outside. If you look at the bottom, you can look at all the tabs. You got just the uh, history report here. Uh, that's just the voltage over time, and it's looking at a state of charge and temperature. And uh, you can also go to the cranking report here um how many ever times you cranked it or show you a cranking report um this here is a charging report and you also can have a um trip report as well i mean this is um some other features some other things that you can add um in here if you choose to do so so let's go back to the main here so now i just want to show you how you can utilize this now one quick thing i'll show you as a tip if you're using google sheets is you want to highlight all your data go up here to format and go to number I mean, number and make sure that this number is clicked because if not, it may be problematic trying to make these graphs. So, all right. So you want to make, uh, let's just say, for example, we're going to put, um, we're going to copy this control C, put this here and hit temperature here. We want um, voltage on the X axis. Excuse me. Do that again. If we want uh, voltage on the X axis and um, temperature on the Y axis, we just put them next to each other like this. And we just highlight that whole group and then we just go up here to insert chart and it up pops this chart right here. It may have another chart selected, but you can just go over here to where it says chart type and scroll down to the one you want. So in our case here, as you can see that nothing's really wrong, but we can just see it about 32 C. Um, you can actually see that the voltage didn't change all that much. But again, if there is some changes and you have some issues with your car and you're using this as a diagnostic tool to help you with your analysis, um, as you can see, just how powerful this can be. So anyway, that's it. I just want to show you what the data looked like when you exported it, because this right here is really handy. So anyway, take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.